Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please remain standing. Please remove your headgear for the presentation of the colors and the singing of our national anthem. Presenting the colors this evening are members of the VFW post 1215 Rochester Color Guards. And leading us in the national anthem is RCTC student Ellen Dankers. Thank you. All right. left. On a guard, halt. Left, face. Present, arms. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the Port arms, left and right face, forward march. On a guard, halt. Prepare to post colors. Post. Present arms. 
two. About face. Dismissed. Please be seated. Good evening. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Rochester Community and Technical College, Minnesota's oldest public two-year community college, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 101 our 101st commencement ceremony. Let us begin by introducing our distinguished guests who are joining me on stage. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Sophia Austin, our student president. Dr. Michael Anthony, vice president of student affairs and enrollment management. Tiffany Hunsley, tonight's alumni speaker from the class of 2009. Trustee Robert Hoffman, our area's representative member of the Minnesota State College and University's Board of Trustees. Dr. Greg Moser, Executive Vice President of Academic Affairs, and Todd Severson, Vice President of the RCTC Foundation Board. Please join me in welcoming our honored guests. Candidates, you make up the class of 2017, a body of learners just as similar, yet just as unique as the classes that came before you. When you started down your path here at RCTC, each one of you arrived on campus with a goal, a dream. Through the support of family, friends, and mentors, many of whom are with you tonight, you are here today because you were challenged, inspired, and driven to achieve those goals. And tonight, we celebrate your accomplishments and congratulate you on reaching this point on your education journey. It is now time for you to put to good use your knowledge and talent, refined and enhanced by your experiences at RCTC. Congratulations. Now, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce to you Trustee Robert Hoffman, our area's representative member of the Board of Trustees of Minnesota State Colleges and Universities. Dr. Hoffman has served students and the state of Minnesota for decades, most recently as Vice President of Strategic Business, Education, and Regional Partnerships at Minnesota State University, Mankato. Prior to that appointment, Trustee Hoffman served as superintendent of Wasika Public Schools, taught English, and coached in Redwood Falls, was principal of Wanamingo High School, and assistant superintendent in Worthington. In addition, he has held executive positions at Brown Printing and Taylor Corporation, and currently serves on the board of directors for Ecumen, the Greater Minnesota Partnership, and the Legacy of Angels Foundation. Dr. Hoffman earned his bachelor's and master's degrees at Minnesota State University, Mankato, and his doctorate in education from Utah State University. Please join me in welcoming to the podium a true advocate for higher education and my friend, Trustee Robert Hoffman. Oh, man. 
Good evening, graduates, the class of 2017. I'm here today to bring you greetings on behalf of many others. The Minnesota State Board of Trustees, Chancellor Stephen Rosenstone, and nearly 18,000 talented faculty and staff on campuses across our state. It is a great honor and pleasure to participate in today's commencement ceremony. Celebrations like this one give us a chance to be inspired, inspired by graduates like you. Commencement is a reminder to me and my fellow trustees of the things we believe in, the things that make us passionate about serving our state colleges and universities. All of us who are here this evening have come together because we believe in the power of public higher education to change lives. We've come together because we believe that our state colleges and universities are places of hope and opportunity, where all Minnesotans can get their education they need to create a better future for themselves, for their families, and for their communities. We've come together because we believe that the outstanding, accessible, affordable, and relevant education that our colleges and universities provide has never been more important. And graduates of the class of 2017, we've come together because we believe in you. Each of you took your own unique path to get here today. I am confident in saying it wasn't easy for any of you. Some had to overcome substantial barriers to enter college and to stay in college. Others are the first in your families to graduate from college. Many of you balanced work, many, excuse me, many of you balanced school with a job and with a family, or maybe two jobs. Most of you worked on your degrees after work and possibly when everyone else was asleep. Today, your hard work and those late nights have paid off. You're about to join the approximately 40,000 graduates from our seven universities and 24 colleges who will earn their certificate, diploma, or degree during this year. That's an amazing number, and over 80% of these graduates, you, stay in the state of Minnesota after they graduate. We provide the leadership for the day-to-day -day of Minnesota. Let me share the impact and the influence of our graduates. We have over half of Minnesota's business graduates, approximately 75% of Minnesota's graduating nurses, over 60% of Minnesota's graduating teachers, approximately 90% of Minnesota's graduates in trades, over 80% of Minnesota's law enforcement graduates, and over 50% of Minnesota's information technology graduates. And a number that is increasing daily is we now are serving over 13,000 veterans as of last fall. Yes, we are proud to be the day-to-day -day of Minnesota. And here at Rochester Community and Technical College, the oldest public two-year college in Minnesota, one of the oldest in the country, the largest provider of higher education in the Rochester region, the primary trainer and retrainer of local workforce, more than 70 credit-based programs, over 100, 100 excuse me, credential options, serves more than 11, RCTC serves more than 11,000 students annually and 300 courses online, very impressive. So today, you and those seated with you have earned the privilege of calling yourselves alumni of Rochester Community and Technical College. But does becoming alumni mean you lose your connection to your alma mater? Definitely not. Does it mean we stop expecting great things from you? Absolutely not. You carry the mission of this great college with you no matter where you go, whether it's down the street, to another state, or across the ocean. And the faculty and the staff and all of us will never stop expecting great things from you as alumni. First, we expect you to be leaders in your field. Second, we expect you to contribute to the quality and of life that keeps Minnesota and our nation competitive and strong. And finally, we expect you to be someone who supports and encourages the students who come after you in search of a brighter future. So, graduates of the class of 2017, on behalf of all the people who believe in you, please accept my heartfelt congratulations on your tremendous accomplishments. And as you now go forward in life, good luck. But also, and more importantly, make a difference. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Sophia Alston, and it has been my pleasure to serve as your student president this past year. On behalf of the entire student body, I want to offer my congratulations to each of our graduates. You are to be commended for the dedication, commitment, and sacrifices you made in order to attain your educational goals. This ceremony is a recognition of your well-deserved success. While the skills, hard work, and abilities you've demonstrated to get here tonight suggest you do not need it, I wish you the best of luck as you start your career or continue your educational pursuits. I must also extend a special thanks to those who supported the graduates, excuse me, exported, supported the graduates being recognized tonight. As these graduates have made sacrifices, adjusted their personal and work lives to achieve this goal, we recognize that you have had to do the same. I would like to recognize those who helped babysit while a student was studying or attending class, those who tutored to prepare for a test, proofread a paper, or just offered advice and words of encouragement to a student. I would also like to recognize the dedicated and selfless individuals at the end of many of these rows or seated in the section to my right. Without the hard work of our faculty, none of this would be possible. For everyone who has somehow invested in the future of our graduates, I say thank you. Your dividends are being paid in full today. Again, congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Sophia, and thank you for your service to the students of RCTC this past year. It has been a true pleasure working with you. As Vice President of Student Affairs, I'm responsible for creating an environment where our students can thrive and succeed. That's why it is my great honor to introduce to you tonight's alumni speaker, a 2009 honors graduate of RCTC, Tiffany Hunsley. Tiffany is founder and executive director of Recovery is Happening, an organization that envisions a community where long-term recovery is actively supported, integrated, and nurtured. Tiffany's work with the Department of Human Services has helped identify ways to improve court-related performance and outcomes for children and families involved in child protection court proceedings. In 2016, Mrs. Hundley received national recognition for her work in the community by being honored with two national awards. First, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration Voice Award, and second, the Faces of Voices Recovery Vernon Johnson Award. Tiffany is also known for giving of herself in the community by sharing her story of resilience and recovery to reduce the discrimination and misperceptions associated with behavioral health conditions, and she is committed to her own personal recovery. Please join me in welcoming to the podium this year's alumni speaker, Ms. Tiffany Hunsley. Good evening, faculty, family, and friends. It is an honor to stand before you today. Congratulations to the RCTC graduating class of 2017. I have spent weeks racking my mind and my heart for what it is I should say to you here today. What is it that I heard on my graduation day here over eight years ago? Well, frankly, I don't remember a word of that commencement speech, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> what I do remember is the excitement of being a first-generation graduate. Having a life filled with great adversity, I stand before you today a product of resiliency. The people who become the greatest achievers are the ones who overcome the greatest challenges, and life will be filled with many challenges for us all. My life challenges began at a young age, being born into a family that suffers with the disease of addiction. Throughout my life, I found myself trapped in a cycle of alcohol, drugs, and incarceration. When I thought that hope didn't know my address, 
something wonderful happened. In 2004, my life was changed forever when I entered our country's most effective justice strategy, treating addiction, drug court. It was the drug court team that suggested I look into furthering my education and RCTC with its non-traditional population is where I landed. Throughout this time, I met some of the most amazing, thoughtful, caring people. Everyone had the courage to believe in me when I didn't have the courage to believe in myself. By leaning on my community, I not only survived, but I thrived at RCTC. I wasn't defeated by challenges, and I learned to push through them. I don't proclaim that I was a perfect student or person. I make mistakes, a lot of mistakes. But failure and mistakes are a part of growth. Through every failure, there is a lesson that should be learned. RCTC broadened and molded my mind academically. You see, my story, although filled with challenges, is one of resiliency and determination. For the past years, I have had my family, my mentors, and my community. This is how individuals let their light shine brightly. I knew that I must pay forward in gratitude, be responsible in my community, and give back through mentorship and community activism. From my experience and education, I have become an advocate for recovery, an advocate for being responsible in my community through education, mentoring, supporting individuals and families impacted with substance use challenges. So today, let me remind you all of the most important lessons that I have learned throughout this time. Never forget how far you have come, everything you have gotten through, all the times you have pushed on, even when you felt like you couldn't, all the mornings that you got out of bed, no matter how hard it was, all the times you wanted to give up, but you pushed through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed. Be strong enough to stand alone, smart enough to know when you need help, brave enough to ask for it, and never forget you have a story to tell. My name is Tiffany Hunsley, and I am a woman in long-term recovery. Through my recovery, I found my voice, and today I am honored to be a face and a voice for recovery, to show others that no matter how far down the scale you have gone, nothing is impossible, to show that a woman with felonies, her children taken away, homeless and unemployed, can not only recover but thrive. Today, a shining example of what can happen when we treat the family and not just the symptoms, with drug courts instead of prison, long-term treatments instead of the traditional 28 days, with ongoing follow-ups and family and community support. Today, I am a loving mother of four, a drug court graduate, a college graduate, a homeowner, a voter, a taxpayer, executive director and founder of Recovery is Happening, and an advocate for recovery. Why? Because it's a disease, not a decision. We must not sit by as injustices abound around us. We have a voice, and we must use it. We must advocate for those who trapped in the horrors of addiction no longer have a voice as I once did. I am not my illness. I have a name, a history, a story to tell, and I will no longer hush my voice for someone else's comfort. So to RCTC, we say thank you 
for years of going beyond the traditional student. Because of what we have learned from you, we can now go on beyond for others in our community. And to the graduating class of 2017, the biggest thing, let your voice be heard, let your story be told. Thank you. Thank you, Tiffany. <clears throat> Thank you for that very motivating message and sharing your story with us tonight. And now it is my pleasure and distinct honor to acknowledge and the presence of some special individuals with us here tonight. As a Beyond the Yellow Camp, as Beyond, I'm sorry, as a Beyond the Yellow Ribbon Campus and Military Friendly College, RCTC takes pride in recognizing and honoring our student veterans and active duty military. In fact, this evening we have a special message to the RCTC class of 2017 from a member of the United States Armed Forces. Please turn your attention to the large screen for that message. Hey everyone, my name is Lance Corporal Wade and I'm currently stationed in Okinawa, Japan with the United States Marine Corps. There's someone in the graduating class today who I owe a huge congratulations to, my big brother, my best friend, John Wade. Johnny, I just wanted to come out here and say congratulations and I'm so proud of you. I think about you every single day and I wish so badly that I could be there today to watch you walk across that stage, but I can't be unfortunately. So congratulations, and I love you, and I miss you, and I hope to see you very soon sometime this year. And congratulations to the entire graduating class of 2017. I'm proud of each and every single one of you. God bless you all. I too extend my sincere congratulations to all of tonight's candidates for graduation. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize and honor all of our active duty military and veterans with us this evening. Would you please stand to be recognized for your service to our country? Thank you. You may be seated. Candidates, we also want to acknowledge the many people in the audience who have contributed to the success you celebrate tonight. These individuals have given their time, love, support, and yes, often their financial support to help you achieve this significant accomplishment. At this time, I would like to recognize those who have helped the graduates here this evening. Parents, and grandparents of the graduates, if able, would you please rise and remain standing? <laughs> spouses, spouses and significant others, would you please rise and remain standing? Children, would the children of the graduates please rise and remain standing? And finally, last but not least, friends of tonight's graduates, please rise and remain standing while we thank you for your support.
Now graduates, please stand, face your family, friends, and loved ones who help you achieve the success we celebrate tonight and join me in another round of, welcoming, of thanking them for their support. Thank you very much. You may be seated. And now the moment you've been waiting for. Each of you have satisfactorily completed a prescri prescribed program of study at Rochester Community and Technical College. President Davenport, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I certify to you that these candidates for graduation have completed all the academic requirements and are entitled to receive their respective certificates, diplomas, and Associate of Arts, Associate in Fine Arts, Associate in Applied Sciences, and Associate in Sciences. Faculty presenters, please lead tonight's candidates to the stage. Hello, I'm Leonard Cronin, accounting instructor, and proud to announce the names of the accounting graduates. Amber Eve Bishop, accounting clerk. Shayla Marie Hall, two plus two accounting honors. Jennifer K. Koenigs, accounting. Matthew James Lammers, accounting. Matthew Robert Meyer, 2 plus 2 accounting. Dennis Ralph Stelling, 2 plus 2 accounting, high honors. Good evening. It's my honor and privilege to announce the graduates of the Administrative Assistant Program. Emily Rose Clausen, Jennifer Hoffman, Samantha Lowry, Karen Amber Rose Martin, Amy Alexandra Swinger. And now I'm going to announce the graduates from the Administrative Clinic Assistant Program. Danielle Ray Campbell, Amy Lynn Fogel, Brenda Rivera Higuera, Jessica Sue Waleski, Hannah Eva Zrucki, Sharmila Roy Chowdhury. My name is Wayne Finseth. I'm the program leader of the Alcohol and Drug Counseling Program, and I'm here to announce the uh, associate and certificate holders of that program. Jody Lynn Pennington, high honors. Amy Lynn Sinwal. Good evening, I'm Simon Hulsbeck, art instructor. It is my honor and privilege to announce the art and design graduates. Andy Anderson, art. Estrade Kamal Deficente, photography, high honors. Elizabeth Ann Christie, graphic design and digital art. Samantha Marie Coram, high honors, photography. Alith Grace Eduzma, High Honors, Photography. Sarah Ray Edwards, High Honors, Web Design. 
Monisha Lasha Meeks, art. Okay. Max Menning, mobile application development. Brooke Noel Talugan, art. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. It's my pleasure to, to <laughs> introduce you to the, the 2017 Auto Mechanics class. Theodore Joseph Appel. Justin Brown. Logan Christofferson. D'Angelo Dockery. High honors, Jason Arnold Fries. <laughs> Jonathan Jansen. Cody D. Johnson. Christopher McKenzie Callis. Okay. Eric Knutson, high honors. Jason Sean Nelson. Milton Marari Ortiz. Eric James Taraba. Jonathan Theodore Theroux. Carlos Zavala. On behalf of the Building Utilities Mechanics Program, I have the great priv privilege of announcing tonight's graduates. As AAS and Diploma, Tyler Ross Chapman. AAS Degree, Gerald Keith Culliford. AAS and Diploma with Honors, Robin Esther Dudley. AES and Diploma, Brendan Daniel Meyer. AES Diploma and Honors, Joseph Andrew Skeen. AES and Diploma, Brendan Jade Strain. Diploma with honors, Cole Westergaard. Uh, good evening. It is my honor to announce the candidates for the business degrees. Arbab Abdallah, uh, business management. Lindsay Ray Burr, business management marketing emphasis. Ashley Danielle Catter, 2 plus 2 Business Administration Honors. Brianna Lynn Clement, Business Administration. Melissa Ashley Dawn, Business Administration. Nadia Jovier Fanu Tase, Business Administration Accounting. Arnell Muyanovic, Business Management. <laughs> Philip John Novick, 2 plus 2, Business Administration. Mohammed Abdi Nur, 2 plus 2, Business Administration. Hey. Chelsea Nicole Schmidt, Business Management. And Ronald James Schreiber, 2 plus 2, Business Administration. My name is Jackie Demomosseth, CAD Instructor 1, and on behalf of the Computer Aided Drafting Department, I'd like to announce the following graduates. Matthew August Deneen, High Honors. Jared Richard Johnson. 
Madeline Rose Leet, High Honors, Mandy Mason, High Honors, Aaron Charles Robb, High Honors. Brian Edward Robbins, High Honors. Carpentry Program. Liam Dorn, High Honors. Jeffrey Good, High Honors. Dylan J. Hess, High Honors. Corey Kahn, Honors. Dylan Ray King, High Honors. Lisa Malone, High Honors. Casey? <laughs> Cody Stoffron, Honors. Samuel D. Thomas, High Honors. Uh, my name is Jim Ma, uh, computer science instructor. Uh, I'm here to uh, announce computer science graduates. Emily Clark. J Joe Hernandez. Amel uh, Nukic. Asmir As Asmanovich. Andrew Paz, high honors. Christopher Rogers. Go ahead. Oh, I get to announce? Yeah, you announced it, yes. <laughs> Joseph Ramping, my son. Alexa Shendo, <laughs> Alexander Scott Lyak, Good evening, I'm Stacy York, and I'm pleased to announce the 2017 Child, Youth, and Family Studies graduates. Ginny Na. AAS degree, Child, Youth, and Family Studies. Melanie Reddig, Diploma, Child Development, High Honors. Erica White, AAS degree, Child, Youth, and Family Studies, High Honors. <laughs> Dorothy Woolridge, AAS degree, Child, Youth, and Family Studies, High Honors. Good evening, I'm Bonnie Crawford, and on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Dental Assistant Program, it is our honor to present the 2017 Dental Assisting Graduates. Congratulations. Kiana Marie Esprit. Sarah Balt with honors. Trishina Bowen. Chloe Lynn Brua. Megan Ray Frazier. Sarah Ann Gerdes. Haley Lorraine Heath. Megan Holmgren. Molly Jacobson. Hannah Losher. Amy Lynn Meyer. Allie Moyer, Maria Rosario Rojas, Samantha Marie Williams,
Good evening. I am Sherry Fritz, Program Leader of the Dental Hygiene Program. It is my honor and with great pride that I introduce the candidates for the Associate in Applied Science and Dental Hygiene degree. Lindsay Elizabeth Anderson. Danielle Diane Baker. Laura Jane Bohati. Hillary Marie Bottoma. Samantha Elizabeth Burdick. Kendra Marie Clementson. Alyssa Charlotte Decker. Sakara Lynn Delano, high honors. Diana Laura Gomez Hernandez. <laughs> Heather Jessica Hewlett. Ilsa Muriel Lynn Hinke, high honors. Hannah Marie Lund, honors. Jessica K. Rettmeyer, honors. And Lindsay Nicole Swartz. Good evening, I'm Heather Sklenik and I'm proud to present our science majors. Yosef Rufiel Germa, Environmental Science, Liberal Arts and Sciences. Mykola Yudin, Engineering, High Honors. Tadessa Nagash, Laboratory Science. Timothy Wayne Peterson, Environmental Science, High Honors. She left her card. Good thing I know her. <laughs> Kristen Euknes, Science Foundations A and Science Foundations B. High Honors. Hi, I'm Julie Christie, and I'll be presenting the Equine Science graduates. Ashley Marie Hagland with high honors. Sydney McGee with high honors. Elizabeth E. Morgan with high honors. Colin Palmer. Good evening. I'm Ajay Mehra. I'm uh, Program Leader for Health Information Technology Program, presenting the class of 2017 in Health Information Technology and Coding Specialist Diploma. Tammy Bryan, high honors. Shelby DeBoer, Health Information Technology. Robert Lawrence Jones, high honors, Health Information Technology. Tracy Langford, Health Information Technology. Melissa Lucas, Health Information Technology. Elizabeth Norman, Health Information Technology. Belem Ozuna, Health Information Technology. Yasina Perez, Health Information Technology. Kelly, Sh Kelly Shevy, Health Information Technology, high honors. Ryan Toogood, High Honors, Health Information Technology. Michelle Jeanette Vanderark, High Honors, Health Information Technology. My name is Amanda York, and I'll be announcing the Health Unit Coordinator recipients. Melissa Bush, Health Unit Coordinator, Honors. Minnie Evans, honors. Julie Marie Flack, high honors. Courtney Galbraith, honors. Amanda Hilda Hannenberger. Charlene Harrington, honors. Jennifer Larson, Yay! 
Miranda Lynn Larson. Victoria Alexandra Nayari, High Honors. Julie Rassett, Health Unit Coordinator and Communication Studies Certificate. Shelby Lee Sanford. Danielle Lynn Schmidt, Liberal Arts and Sciences and Health Unit Coordinator Certificate. Olivia Christine Quinona Saluzar, Healthcare Documentation Specialist. Good evening. I am Robin Fruth Dugstead, and it is my honor to present the Horticulture graduates. Brandon John Burgundy, high honors. Brendan Eric Dugstead. Elizabeth Josephine Helskoff. Colton Michael Hines. Brandon Michael Huth. Jessica Lee Martin, high honors. Zobek Miller Ness. Carl Richard Roman. Paul Andrew Woltman. Good evening, Shelley Arneson from Human Services. Proud to present the candidates for Human Services, Communication Studies, and Social Work 2 plus 2. Jordan Boyum, 2 plus 2 Social Work, Human Services. Tori Chladdick, Human Services, 2 plus 2, Social Work. April Christofferson Wilson, 2 plus 2, Social Work, Honors. William Dang, Human Services Specialist. Jasmine Ferran, 2 plus 2, Social Work. Human Services. Halina Nataki Adero Gill, 2 plus 2 Social Work. Taylor Gretchy, 2 plus 2 Social Work, Human Services. Allison Kapuchik, Human Services Specialist. <laughs> Honors. <laughs> My students tolerate me. Alexandria Linskog, Human Services Specialist, High Honors. Laura Manselman, Human Services Specialist, High Honors. Therese McDonald, Mental Health Certificate. <laughs> Stephanie K. Reimers, 2 plus 2, Social Work Honors. Jamie Robenstein, 2 plus 2, Social Work Honors. Alyssa Faye Scott, 2 plus 2 Social Work and Communication Studies. Nicole Urban, Human Services Specialist, Human Services. And the rest, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. As an RCTC staff member, I will be presenting the diploma to my daughter. Monica Yurden, Human Services, 
high honors. Kingsley Zevlon, Human Services Specialist. My name is Randy Mohawk, and I'm here to announce the graduates for the Criminal Justice and Law Enforcement Program. Nicholas David Runs, Law Enforcement Honors. Clayton Thomas Cowding, Law Enforcement High Honors. Anthony John Cox, Law Enforcement. Justin Andrew Crow, Criminal Justice. Lacey Ann Draken, Law Enforcement. Alexander Thomas Fogan, Fogel, sorry, Law Enforcement. Jose Franco, Law Enforcement. Evan Z. Frinson, Law Enforcement. Gregory Gardner, Law Enforcement Honors. Trevor David Hansen, Law Enforcement and Criminal Justice. Uh, Mark Erickson, also with the Law Enforcement Program. Kendra Leah Himes, Honors, Law Enforcement. Andrew Clayton Knutson, Law Enforcement. Nicholas Carl Heinz Kruger, Law Enforcement, High Honors. Annette Marie Kylo, Law Enforcement, High Honors. Chantel Elaine Los, Law Enforcement. Michael John Nordine, Honors, Law Enforcement. Amber Lene Peters, Criminal Justice, High Honors. Gideon Nicholas Prudell, Law Enforcement. Jairo Ramirez, Law Enforcement. Chelsea Joe Scavel, Law Enforcement, Criminal Justice, Honors. Alexander Humberto Sadarski, Law Enforcement, High Honors. Nicholas Raymond Seavers, Law Enforcement. Heath O'Brien Van Dor, uh, Law Enforcement. John Arthur Wade, Law Enforcement, Honors. My name is Tara Hamill, and I am proud to announce the graduates of the Medical Administrative Assistant Program. Jennifer Renee Curtis, High Honors. Carol Ann Harsey. Leo Stankovic. I'm Matt Hafer, and on behalf of the faculty of the music department, I'm pleased to announce our graduates. Philip Bias. <laughs> Alyssa Lynn Dietz, music. <laughs> Carolina Martinez Garcia, music, music creative technologies, high honors. Good evening, my name is Susan Jansen and I am the Associate Dean of Nursing. I am proud to present to you the Nursing and Allied Health graduates. Halimo Ahmed Abdi, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. 
Whitney Aranda, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Kiana Lavi Green, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Faye Marie Nelson, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Asha Rage, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Marcella Rose Romero, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Rosiana Simmons, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Donna Marie Sletton, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant, Honors. Kari Ann Von Groven Durham, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Savannah Yun, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Tracy Deborah Basaw, Practical Nursing. Miranda K. DeBus, Practical Nursing. Brittany Brianne Goodrich, Practical Nursing, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Yolanda K. Miller, Practical Nursing, High Honors. Sarah E. Sherman, Practical Nursing. Margaret Abraham Akuk, Nursing Honors. Carrie Barnett, Nursing. Cheryl Edith Bentley, Nursing Honors. Christy Lynn Brown, Nursing. Yes. I'd like to present this diploma to my daughter, Hannah Marie Buchel. Nursing Honors. <laughs> Krista Mayan Kaflish, Nursing High Honors. Rebecca Lee Kaflish. Nursing Honors. Megan Ray Carlson, Nursing. Juan Cazares Gonzalez, Nursing. Valerie Jujuce, Juicy, Nursing. Jessica Jo Fogelson, Nursing. Melissa Garung, Nursing Honors. Taylor Marie Hain, Nursing Honors. Eric Franz Heinz, Nursing Honors. Mary G. Hirschberger, Nursing. <laughs> Stephen Henderson, Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant. Alyssa Ann Johnson, Nursing Honors. Jessica Marie Leeson, Nursing Honors. Christina Jane Mashing, Nursing. Kayla Ann Meyer, Nursing. Clementine Dazagarunge, Nursing. Jordan Sam Olson, Nursing. Michael Awar, Nursing. Nicole Elizabeth Rick 
Nursing Honors. Ruben Antonio Romero, Nursing. Ashley Madison Saduskis, Nursing High Honors. Amanda K. Schmidt, Nursing High Honors. Desiree Scott, Nursing. Equa Mana Simone DeFonte, Nursing. Katrina Louise Scaron, Nursing High Honors. Emily Nicole Smith, Nursing Honors. Lauren Renee Stevens, Nursing Honors. Brittany Stork, Nursing High Honors. Zachary Miles Winter, Nursing Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant, Emergency Medical Technician, Honors. Genevieve Eccles, Cardiovascular Invasive Specialist, Honors. Jenna Marie Greeno, Health Sciences Broadfield. One more music graduate, Ezra Paul Larson, Music Creative Technologies. Good evening, MJ Wagenson, and I am pleased to introduce to you the graduates under the sport management umbrella. Brandon Dirk Deseyu, personal trainer. Ariana May Marashi, personal trainer, advanced hospital nursing assistant. Nathan Salzman, personal trainer. Angela Taylor, personal trainer, group fitness instructor, honors. Thank you. I'm Eileen Zerbel, and Jody Finstoon and I have the honor of announcing the graduates from the Surgical Technology Program. Lindsay Marie Ayers. Jaylyn Teresa Begin. Megan Bell. Thomas James Benzik with high honors. Andrew Everson. Kendra Jean Groenwald, surgical technology and advanced hospital nursing assistant. Sadie Jane Groth. Adam Koenig with honors. Robin Lynn Konacek with Whoa. honors. <laughs> Justin Lewis. Juanita Macias. Tyler Obanian. Kristen Peglo. Krista Ruder. Savannah Jo Speck. Brianna Strohschein. Nathan Wilhelmy, with honors. Dawn Juanita Winky. Dylan Whitliff. It's my honor to present the graduates from Veterinary Technology. Laura Elizabeth Abbott, Amanda Elizabeth Bartz, Alyssa Marie Carney, Leanna K. Renee Dixon, Laura Elizabeth Kohler, 
Carly Lynn Moger, Casey Ann Mulvaney, Alexandra Victoria Novosad, Allie M. Peener, Allison Rebecca Swigert, Good evening, my name is Paul Titus and I will be introducing the welding graduates. Finn Herman Avasi. Penny Jo Brenke. As an RCTC faculty member, I'm Terry Hill and I am honored to be presenting the diploma to my son, Bryant. Good evening, it's my pleasure to introduce the candidates for individualized studies. Courtney Nicole Cowan, individualized studies honors. Hubert Siddiqui Midagu, high honors. Jim Kali Ahmed Moalam. Jennifer Lee Romero, high honors. <laughs> Hannah K. Vaughn. And now your candidates for liberal arts and sciences. Omar Nur Alasso. George Alhag. Shannon Lee Beauchene, high honors in workplace communication, communication studies, and liberal arts. <laughs> Alyssa Renee Berry. Ariel Techa Biak, honors. Lavon Bungao. Chelsea Lynn Briel. Margaret Ann Brozig. Maria Christina Campos, honors. Isaac Canada, Jr. Justin Charles. Sarerith Chan. Ryan David Christofferson. Taylor Ray Christofferson. Honors. Elijah Christopher Church. High honors. Luis Enrique Cisneros Pito, Liberal Arts and Sciences and Communication Studies. Jaden Elizabeth Clark, Honors. Jessica Cullifer. Zainab Dahir. Sean Marie Brewer? Curry. Sorry, no card. I'm sorry. Lily Noel Eastman. High honors. Courtney Marie Erickson. Tyler Michael Glomsky. Workplace Communication, Liberal Arts and Sciences, and Communication Studies. Erin Marie Hengel. 
I'm proud to present my son, Brandon Benjamin Hoth, High Honors. <laughs> Molly Elizabeth Keenan, High Honors. And I'm John, Dr. John Tassinelli, and I'm very uh, privileged to present this diploma to my daughter, Christian Matthias Kennedy, high honors. Kenneth Kayla Knapp. Dwayne John Leightonen, Individualized Studies and Liberal Arts and Sciences. Reba Faith Landers, High Honors. Leslie Lopez. Jennifer Ann Lovejoy, Honors. and Matthew Michael Luster. Amanda Mayberry, Liberal Arts and Sciences and Photography Certificate. Deborah Carolyn Medin. Brittany Marie Meyer. William Moyer. Victor A. Nartovich with high honors. Catherine Marie Nelson with high honors. Zachary David Nelson with high honors. Tian Nguyen. Stephen James O'Byrne. Michael Olson. Yes, you can. Hi, I'm Deb Pesh, and I am proud to present Carissa D. Pesh. Kendra Peterson, Liberal Arts and Sciences and Advanced Hospital Nursing Assistant with High honors. Beverly J. Peterson with high honors. Christina Peterson. Lisette Ryland with high honors. Taylor Ray Rice. Caitlin Therese Rieger. Megan Rose Reinhardt with honors. Jason Michael Rizzo with high honors. Callie Joe Ryan. Brianna Sky Schleisner. Akeem Smith, Samuel Charles Smith, December Ann Sobeck, Jeffrey David Thompson with honors, Brandon Robert Utek, Litar Vutha, Samantha Carrasco Valencia. Hannah Grace Walters with high honors. Israel Jordan Walters with high honors. Josiah Samuel Walters with high honors. Alex Wilkins. 
Wyatt Worth, Shania Watovich, Amanda York. The faculty wish to extend our congratulations to the graduates and we extend our appreciation to the families who have supported these graduates during their time at RCTC. Please tell your friends and neighbors about the great experience you and your family members have had at RCTC. And on behalf of the faculty, we say Asante, Arigato, Grazi, Muchos Gracias, Shishia, Merci, Ma salam and thank you. Graduates, please rise. Now, by the authority vested in me by the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities Board of Trustees and the State of Minnesota, I hereby confer upon each of you the respective academic degree from Rochester Community and Technical College for which you have been recommended with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities. Faculty and staff, please rise to certify your acceptance of these candidates. Candidates, you may now move your tassels to the left side. And you may now please be seated. On behalf of the administration, faculty and staff of Rochester Community and Technical College, congratulations. We are proud that you are part of the Yellow Jacket family and we wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Now before we conclude tonight's ceremony, I want to recognize the RCTC band under the direction of Chuck Blattner. The VFW Post 1215 Rochester Color Guard for presenting our colors. Ellen Dankers for leading us in the national anthem. Our special guests seated on stage. Our sign language interpreters. And all who have played a role in tonight's ceremony. <laughs> Family, friends, and guests, we ask that you remain seated until the class of 2017 has recessed, and then please join us for a reception honoring the class of 2017. Thank you, and we wish you safe travels.
what are you going to do with the next chapter of your life? You've been asked that a million times. Now it's time to make that decision and be who you've always wanted to be. Unleash your true potential and take the next step. Rochester Community and Technical College. Apply today at rctc.edu. times have you been told to follow your dreams? Now's the time to make those dreams a reality. Whatever your goals, your ambitions, the land of opportunity starts at RCTC. Go ahead, make your mark. Rochester Community and Technical College. Apply today at rctc.edu.